I'm very particular when it comes to lumbar support, and I was curious if an additional lumbar pad would help me feel more comfortable in office chairs. So I bought five highly rated lumbar pads on Amazon and tried them out. King Phoenix is the first lumbar pad that I tried, and this is the only perforated mesh product on this list. When I read the packaging, I had a little chuckle. It reads, as an upgrade of product, we add a vertical strap in the middle. The picture on Amazon was not updated in time. Please understand that this extra vertical strap can be cut off if you need to reduce the curve. If you don't need to increase the curve, it don't need to be cut off. So the way that it is designed is with two adjustable straps on the sides and then a permanent strap in the middle. The adjustable straps allow you to increase the curve, but you are limited in how flat you can make it unless you cut that middle strap off. Now, judging by the quality of the product, I think it's safe to assume that this middle strap was added to prevent the outer straps from breaking on the previous design, which only featured those two outside straps. The good thing is that you get two of these in a pack, so you have an extra one if the straps do end up snapping. In terms of comfort, this thing had some real potential. I actually find it to be comfortable. It conforms to the chair more naturally than most of the products on this list, and since it is the only open mesh product, it doesn't get nearly as warm as the padded lumbar products do. This is pretty important for me because I run pretty hot and can get too warm in some chairs. The mesh also gives a little bit and the frame has some flexibility. The one major problem is that it doesn't stay in position when you recline. It always wants to slide down. Sometimes it would slide down almost the entire way down the backrest when I was using it. There's just nothing to hold it up and in place. I think a second strap would be helpful, like we will see on most of the products on this list. Everlasting Comfort is going to be the most popular product we look at, with almost 35,000 reviews, a good rating on Amazon, backed by a solid fake spot score. This is a much different product than the King Phoenix model we just looked at. This is a cushioned product with a two-strap system, but I did find this to be much more stable than the system that we saw on the King Phoenix model. While it holds its position better, I'm not a fan of this product for a few reasons. The first is the foam quality. It is advertised as having heat-responsive memory foam. This does not feel like memory foam to me. It bounces back more like cut or molded foam does. If this is considered memory foam, then it is some of the lowest quality memory foam I've seen. I also question the heat responsive portion in the description because I found the foam to be warm pretty quickly. Within about 30 minutes, my lower back was feeling warm. The last thing that I didn't love about this pad is how far it pushed me forward on my seat. You really want to have seat depth adjustment to ensure that you have enough room for your legs. It also makes the top of the backrest kind of useless because you need to awkwardly bend your back in order to feel the top of your backrest. The third model I tried was the Q-Tool pad or Quitool pad, I'm really not sure how to pronounce it, but this is going to be the biggest pad on the list. This is more of a full back pad than just a lumbar pad. This feels like one of the best quality products on the list, it does have better foam than the Everlasting product, and they incorporated some massage type bumps to give it that little extra. Overall, I think the pad is pretty comfortable. I like the fullback design from a pure comfort standpoint because it feels much more natural than just the lumbar addition. The fullback design with two strap system and grippy back helps to hold its position very well. This is definitely the most solid option on the list. It never slid around or out of place when I was using it. While the upsides are there, so are the downsides. If the everlasting comfort is a level 5 on the warm meter, then this Q-Tool product is a 9 or a 10. It just has so much memory foam that does not breathe at all. I cannot use this product simply because I started overheating after about an hour and a half. This is another product that really changes the dimensions of the chair because your entire back is being pushed forward quite a bit. Chairs with no seat sliders or poorly placed arms will be a major problem with this back pad. Next up, we've got the tooth pad from Cushion Lab. Doesn't this thing look like a tooth? This tooth-shaped pad is actually going to be the most expensive option on this list at about double the price of the other products. This pad has some of the densest memory foam I've ever seen. I used this pad for a long time, and it never felt like I was sinking into the foam or that it was contouring to me at all. It's just too firm to be that type of a product. The shape is also interesting because you only really feel the pad on the vertical back muscles that are on the sides of your spine. It also doesn't have a noticeable curve to help with your lumbar area. 
Because the foam doesn't give, you really get pushed forward in your chair with this pad. You cannot use the top of your backrest comfortably, and you will definitely need a seat slider. While the foam is good quality and the single strap system is pretty stable, I did not find this product very practical for an office chair, especially given its price. I think this would work better on something with absolutely no pad at all, like a dining room chair. Last up, we've got the Samsonite Lumbar Pad, and this is one of the lowest priced options at only $19.99, but I do think this is just a better version of the Everlasting Comfort Pad we saw previously. This is a popular product on Amazon with over 10,000 reviews and a 4.4 star rating, but FakeSpot does give it a score of a C, so I'm not sure how legit all of those reviews are. The shape is almost identical to the Everlasting Comfort model, but the memory foam is better quality. It just conforms to you much better than the Everlasting Pad does. I think the pad itself is comfortable, but it definitely takes away from the overall back of your chair. From the midpoint of your back up, it just becomes unusable. This is pretty terrible for reclining, but if you sit upright most of the time and need a good little lumbar pad, this can be a nice option, especially for only 20 bucks. This pad is going to have similar problems to the other products though. The first is that it is definitely warm. Not as warm as the full back pad, but noticeably warmer than the mesh model from King Phoenix. It also does push you forward in your seat, so a seat slider and adjustable arm pads are helpful here. It also isn't super stable because of the single strap system. You can see how it just kind of flops around. This is one area where Everlasting Comfort does have the edge compared to Samsonite, but I do like the Samsonite product better overall. If you're interested in some full chair options, check out this next list where we look at five highly rated chairs on Amazon for under $300.